Hello, it's you and Spare, and we're back with another video. What are we doing today? The elections are two days away. Mm -hmm. So everybody's getting excited for voting day. Yeah. But some very worrying clips surfaced this weekend. Oh no. That could lead to potential rigging of votes. Oh no. Let's just check out this clip first. Mm. And you tell me what you think. Okay. <laughs> Still sealed, guys. We're not known to miss born. Mama, yes, sir. Still sealed. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 Chester Vili wa mapongis na wa guys Aslele unke ya una Sese Chester Vili ya na maji Le ndo isi neskati figi le la ikai So Yeah Got that. I'm a police officer. What on the move? The move. I'm a police officer. Road one. Road one. Nothing can be. Yeah, somebody said it was or something. Yeah, no, no, we're not open it. Yeah, we can't say open it. No, no. Sorry? Yeah, I think we can't open it because we're not responsible. Why? The only people can open this is IEC. But I will receive the thing. So what are your thoughts after seeing those clips there? That's crazy. So firstly my question is like why are they do they always arrive like so early? Like way, way before the election? Should they shouldn't they be arriving on the day of election to avoid like you know people doing stuff that they should not be doing well in some instances they they can arrive a few days early mm. especially to like remote locations and stuff like yeah. that but in this situation most of these clips are coming from Durban, Durban side okay. so mk members are picking up on mm. ballot boxes being delivered to unauthorized mm, places locations, specific yeah. people and all that kind of stuff like that mm. and they've just been recording all of this putting it out on social media to mm. let the people know that they could be a potential of Potent voter yes. that could be happening in these elections. That is so dodgy because n n you would never be sending them to like unregistered or unauthorized locations if you knew you were not trying to do funny stuff with them. But one thing I know is that this year, it might have been possible in, pos in previous elections to do this, but I definitely don't think it's going to be easy or possible to to rig these elections, especially since now you have more people who 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 know how the, uh, like who know how the ANC for one operates, for instance, because they were in within there, so they know what to look out for. But bottom line is, I feel like it's going to be a lot more harder like this year to. To, 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 to do that and I feel like if parties are being caught for doing 
funny shenanigans like this no matter who they are even if it's ANC they should be disqualified like I feel like there's people the ANC could do so much and still not get disqualified to be honest but if things like this and you and, and you get to the bottom of it and you find that it's a certain party that party should be disqualified like we should not open any room so that in future people know that you don't don't even try that like so we can also have faith in like the election process as well that it's going to be transparent because things like this make people worried and it's like so what's the point you know like i'm gonna vote but still the, there's gonna be fake votes going to a certain party and obviously it's gonna affect the outcome these are special mm -hmm. elections because for the first time people feel like the ANC could lose power mm -hmm. and with them yes. having facing that threat you could see them doing a lot do things like this just mm -hmm. to remain in power Absolutely. Already. so former ANC members such as Ace Mahoshule mm -hmm. and Jacob Zuma mm -hmm. have alluded to the fact that ANC, ANC buys votes and ANC all... might have rigged votes before yes. there's not going to be any rigging of elections our eyes are going to be open uh, because we know i've been part of the NC. we know what's going to happen and uh, all as black parties we have met and we have agreed that we are not going to allow any elections to be rigged and they know. always say that like they always allude to that every time they're speaking you know so it just shows you that <clears throat> that's what you know the nc is used to doing so don't you think in a year without that perhaps the ANC would then get way below 50 percent if they know that previous years you know very very they've been stealing they've been you know rigging votes mm -hmm. so in a fair election don't you think that well we don't know how we don't know if they have done it before and mm. to, to what degree yeah they're giving themselves votes and stuff like that so we can't yes. really tell mm -hmm. but this election is very interesting because Former ANC members are on the mm. lookout. Mm. You can see that it's mostly MK, MK members. MK, who are former ANC, yes. You can see that it's mostly they MK know members how they who, operate. Are, mm. who are recording these things happening. They know where, yeah. they know where to look. They know what they to look for. They know where the stations are. They know, they know who might be behind certain things. Mm -hmm. So MK members have been recording these things throughout mm -hmm. the weekend. Mm -hmm. Just letting the people know that there could be something fishy going mm -hmm. on here. Which I like because now it's starting to prove Zuma rights to be honest. Like the more they find these weird things, it's going to be like, well, Zuma was right. He knows how mm -hmm. they're doing, how mm -hmm. they move, how they operate, mm -hmm. you know? So to me, I just find it very interesting that these things are uh, coming out, are coming to light. Yes. Specifically, just before the elections. Mm -hmm. um, so it just might be a sign that the ANC do know that mm. they might lose. Yeah, their especially power. with the, a, a true and fair election, they they know. I feel like they <clears throat> they feel like they they could lose. Yeah. So party members came out action essay made a statement about this good people um we've seen a video circulating on what happened in hammer's day um after engaging with the iec we understand what really happened there and we are calling for south africans especially those most natal to really calm down um it's normal that the iec will distribute uh, ballots into different uh, safe areas. Unfortunately, the information we are receiving is that the police left while the truck was offloading this ballot. There's nothing wrong um, what happened in Hamas Day, and I think it's important as leaders that we provide leadership. We call in calm. There's not panic. There's no panic. There's no vote rigging happening here. And obviously, yes, as political parties, we must keep vigilant, which is good. But also, let's be careful of not sending out information that create fear to many people, which may even lead to instability and disrupt our election. Mm -hmm. But MK, MK party members are saying the opposite. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Well, you just seen that video. Now, this is something that's extremely worrying. You know, one of our biggest fears is that institutions like the IEC could well be used by the ruling ANC, especially at a time such as this, where they are extremely desperate and worried that they're going to lose power.
power in government. The interesting thing about these ballot papers is that they were all marked A and C. And I heard about this last week. I just couldn't believe it until we got confirmation today that, yes, it is true that millions of ballot papers have been found before elections and that these ballot papers were going to be put into the ballot boxes and counted at voting stations for the ANC. So you can see that attempts are already being made to, um, to steal this election. We can't allow it. This is the reason why party agents have to be visible, have to be active, and have to watch very, very closely what's going on at the polling stations. The last thing we need is the ANC to come in through the back door to continue stealing, looting, and putting our people's lives in more misery. To me, this was a very interesting thing to see. Mm. And we'll see, like, basically in the weekend, mm. the, the final results mm. of the elections. Mm. And then maybe... Maybe from the results, we can tell if there's some rigging that happened. Yeah. Or if the elections were free and fair. Mm. Mm. I also find it very interesting that most of these clips, if not all of these clips, are coming out of KZN. Mm. The place where MK has a stronghold. Yeah. The place where the ANC are seemingly losing their majority yeah. vote in. Mm. So maybe the ANC knows that they're going to lose KZN. Yeah. So, they're so then try they're trying to do. To, to rig it in their Yeah, favor. because they know that that is the majority. That's the majority of their votes, right? Mm. KZN. Oh, shh, that's crazy. Yeah, so it was just something interesting that happened over the weekend. But you guys, let us know what you think about this whole situation. Yeah, let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep watching. Goodbye. We'll check you guys in the next one.